Hello everybody, it's the Boogeyman with another classic arcade game. What we have here is Chicago Coins, DeVille Bowler. The shuffle bowler, six players, uh, play six different games. Um, right now we're set for regulation, but the button on the front will change the spotlight. Spotlight is a game you'll probably never play. What it is is uh, there's another button on the front the panel here that says Spotlight Selector. When you hit that, the pins go up. And what you're basically shooting at is uh, where you think the pins might be. The arrows on the alley will tell you kind of where to shoot, but the pins stay up the whole game. Not quite sure why they even made a game like that. Um, but it's on there, that spotlight. Next game is called Step Up. Uh, if you see on the front glass here, this is the Step Up feature right here. What they're telling you now is you're getting 200 for a strike, 100 for a spare. And as the frames go uh, on, it'll change to 400, 600. So, uh, hence the name Step Up. Uh, add a frame. Uh, I'm actually going to play that game. I'm going to show you how to play that. Add a frame is kind of comes in over here. And what happens is after the 10th frame, it'll randomly give you an extra frame. Could be one, could be two, could be three. Uh, kind of cool. If you're playing with three, four, five, six people, uh, you could be trailing and uh, you could be the guy with three extra frames and win the game. So, a uh, pretty cool game. Uh, flash o -Matic. Yeah, you can see the lights going across over here. And the lights going on the play field. I don't know if you can see that or not, but what you want to do is get it right in the middle there so you're actually timing your throw and you're trying to get a strike. So, most you can get is 700 for a strike, 550 for a spare. Probably play that game most of the time. That's probably the most popular game. And then Dual Flash is basically the same game except uh, the Flash will move on your first throw and your second throw. Where flash o -Matic, when you throw your first one, wherever the light is, it, it stays there and then you'll know what your value for spare is. So pretty much the same game, just a little bit harder. you got to time your spare throws too. So. Alright, let's go back and play at a frame since I talked about that game. So it's a regular uh, bowling. What you're doing is you're going to get uh, 30 for a strike and 20 for a spare. And then uh, anything less than that, you'll just get the point. So. There's a spare, and I got 20. Another 20. Oh, that's a nine. I missed that one. And it's a strike for 30. So we got 79. Another strike. Frame six. Not that time. down here, this add a frame popped up, it says 2. So 10 frames over, I got 208, but it's giving me 2 extra frames, and it'll do it randomly for every other player, if there's more than one playing. So you'll see I get, I get 2 uh, frames here. And that should be it. So that's it. I actually, with the two frames, got an extra 50, so that could be, uh, I guess, what makes or breaks you winning the game or not. So let me get this thing off of here. I will show you the game. What I did to it. Thing around so you don't have to see me. I'll walk around like this then. 
All right, here's the front of the game. Coin box polished up. That black button is a free play button there. See the wood on there? It's all been sanded down. Restained. Put that blue stripe in the middle. Here's the graphics on the back. So the game was sanded down. Repainted. Those are the original graphics. Colors are as close as I could get. There's the hood. You can see that. Side of the hood. So all that wood also. Any wood on here was sanded down, restained. So probably your thing put on there. The glass is in great shape. There's a mark on that one. Even the back one's got a little bit, but real good shape on the glass. Let's see. So over there we got the new. Uh, I just cleaned up those bumpers. I guess those are just just a piece of plastic that keeps the puck from banging into the wood. I redid that. Pins I redid too. I've got some decals for Chicago Coin made. So repainted the pins and put those on. They look better than new, to be honest. We could probably look around. Back at the game. It's painted also, but just the base color, beige. side so legs were repainted black gloss black nice and shiny uh, game was gone through so mechanically, yeah, everything's taken apart, cleaned, adjusted where needed, lubed where needed. So see that the game plays plays great. All light bulbs cleaned up, any bad ones out, new ones in. Uh, like I said the six player game and uh, you don't see this one come up very often. It's Deville. But it's got a real cool paint job, paint scheme on it, so All right, if you're interested in this game, have something else you might need. Got plenty of stuff. You get me at Boogeyman Coin Op. So that's B O O G I E M A N C O I N O P. Boogeyman Coin Op at Gmail. That's how you get a hold of me. So, all right, thanks for watching the video. Out. Oh.